stop losing you know, sleep over disappointments of others when i was 21 22 basically i'm literally an overthinker so made me feel less of myself hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time seeing my face my name is nusra i create lifestyle motherhood and you know self-development videos so welcome to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be talking about things i wish i knew in my early 20s when i was 21 22 basically before i reached my mid 20s let's dive right into the video so the first thing i wish i knew was that don't be afraid to fail like don't be afraid of failure failure is a very important step to you knowing what the future actually holds it actually like molds you and builds you to be a better person in the future so don't necessarily think that when you fail at something don't give up failing at something is going to like improve your chances of being better at that thing when i was in my early 20s i wish somebody had told me that i should you know not focus on my failures but focus on getting better at it another thing i wish i knew in my early 20s i wish somebody had told me that everything is going to be okay no matter what i do i shouldn't rush i should not be in a haste for things to be better i should focus more on you know growing and developing from scratch and you know yeah everything is going to be fine whether or not I, I run, whether or not I speed, whether or not I cry, everything is absolutely going to be fine. I wish somebody had told me that uh, it is okay for things to be like this at first because as time goes on, that thing is going to be better. Another thing I wish somebody had told me is that I should stop overthinking things. Like I am literally an overthinker. I, w I think about the littlest of things and it makes me cry. I cry over little matters because... When somebody presents like a situation to me, like a problem to me, in my head I've already built like one million, one million um questions, one million other problems, which actually makes me go deep and overthink and stress myself and have headache over small matters. I wish somebody had told me that whether I overthink or not, it doesn't solve the problem. The problem will still remain there. Overthinking is a no-no. So another thing I wish somebody had told me is I should not let male opinion, in fact, any other person's opinion to judge who I am or to ruin my confidence in myself, basically. I should not let other people's or, you know, opinion about me determine how I'm going to live my life or how I'm going to find the situation or how I'm going to battle situations at hand so i should not let other people's opinion about my beauty standard about my weight about you know i used to be like um not necessarily fat i used to be chubby when i was in secondary school slash uni so a lot of people like you know made me feel less of myself i was so not i was so degenerated basically about my weight because people kept kept pointing it out friends that I, they were close to me they made me feel less of myself but i decided to like you know change and you know just lose that weight and ever since then i've been confident uh, myself i felt better i didn't let any other people's opinion about my weight about me about my body to you know get to me anymore so i wish when i was in my early 20s somebody had told me that whether whatever weight i am or whatever i should not allow people to body shape me basically so another thing is in my early 20s i wish somebody had told me that i should try new things and you know yeah i should try new things basically whether i want to you know travel whether i want to read whether i want to write i should just explore different things i did explore things but i didn't actually you know focus properly on the things i loved or the things that i the new things that i would love to like focus on basically maybe if i had focused on it better i would have find direction earlier on in life if you're in your early 20s my advice for you is to try new things if you want to learn to swim if you want to learn to write if you want to learn to you know basically learn anything another thing that we used to watch this point is try and learn a skill in your early 20s 
when you learn a skill is is going to help you you know monetize in future you can actually monetize this in future now in my late 20s i learned how to sew and it is actually helping me now in future because i make most of my outfits even though i have not monetized it proper proper but i'm still working on monetizing it in future and it's going to like benefit me basically so another thing is don't be as in have a passion basically have a passion that you love if you love writing write if you love to create a youtube channel and film content do just that i started creating content since when i was in my early 20s now i'm getting i've gotten so better at it my content wasn't compared to what it used to be before so i have gotten better i have improved a lot in my craft basically so try as much as possible to have a passion if you have a passion that is when you know where you are going and you know you have a purpose you have a direction in life another thing i wish that i knew is you have all the time in the world to be whatever you want to be don't be so in a haste to like you know succeed don't be in a haste to like you know make money don't be in a haste to like you know do stops because you see other people doing it at a very early stage in life and you know you just cut yourself off the you know joy happiness of just living your best life in your early 20s but your early 20s is for you to like you know just be yourself you know just you're just learning you're just growing learning to you know you're just developing you're basically still a child in your early 20s so don't let anybody or you know anything because you see this person is doing such things you don't know how the person grew up you don't know what circumstances the person had to go through to you know push through in order to be what they are so don't judge don't just judge a book by its cover by trying to like portray or follow so certain standards because you feel like this person is doing better than you you don't cut yourself off the little joys of life basically so yeah that's another point another thing is do not lower your standard whatever it might be whatever you're going through never ever lower your standard when it comes to you know, setting standard of what type of man you want to marry or what type of goal you have in life or what career choice you have in life or what you want to do in life like me now if i wanted to be like a youtuber then and i discussed this with somebody and the person said youtuber what does that mean do youtubers are they really somebody that has a real life job is it feasible and then that person discourages me and i don't actually do youtube anymore i won't be where i am so basically do not let anyone lower your standard if you want to level up like level level up and be where you are meant to be do not lower your standard if you like envision that yes in future i want to be earning seven figures i want to have my own house with my family so 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 yada yada and you have you want you want to be a stay at home be making your own money while at home and youtube is what is going to do that for you you need to try to level up you know and just focus and make your goal work for you basically if you focus and set goals that are attainable you surely reach the height you are determined to be you'll be able to know you're, you surely meet your standard basically you reach your goals and everything is going to work out perfectly never ever lower your standards if you're somebody that yes you plan on marrying somebody that is kind that is religious that is you know you just have certain attributes you want your man to possess you have red flags that you run away from then it is very important for you to like you know never ever reduce your standard because you feel like you know you are doing too much no you are not doing too much that man is going to be your future kid's um, father, is going to be your husband, is going to be like a brother to your siblings. So never, ever, ever lower your standard, basically because, you know, you feel time is running off. You feel people find their love in their 30s. It's not necessarily you find love as early as your 20s. They find love in their 30s and their 40s and they end up being happily ever after. So don't let, you know, society, family pressure you into like doing what you don't want to or making you feel like time is running out and you should you know just catch the next available boss i am you see or just go ahead and marry any guy you see that is available no 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 don't 
don't reduce your standards you deserve that kind of said that loving you know that man that will care for you so another thing i wish i knew in my 20s stop losing you know, sleep over disappointments of others rejection of people telling you, you know, stop losing sleep over it just make sure that it is a turning point to you achieving your goals when people tell you no or they reject you from a job offering try harder work harder search for more jobs you know just look for more jobs and you know go jump on thing you know just fight basically when you fight for what you want you'll be able to achieve it basically so don't lose sleep or start crying or start wallowing in self-pity that you no know, i was rejected or you have a particular set of friends that you want to join their campus and you know they keep rejecting you and you feel like you're doing something wrong or you feel like you're nobody no you are somebody and you you deserve better than them so basically go in search of people that you know they want you basically you'll find people your own people your own person basically you don't have to like have so many friends but you have a particular friend that will be your own person do not lose sleep because you are being rejected by somebody that is not worth it do not lose your sleep because somebody refused to like you know just somebody disappointed you whether it's a man or you think you are dating somebody and that person is you know using you to like catch crews that person is just making life difficult for you please you deserve a very balanced mental health you deserve a very peaceful mind everything basically so when you see that this particular relationship is getting to you you're always crying that person is always making you cry you're always losing your sleep focus you're always crying over a little matter please please and please and please dump that relationship whether it's from a male friend or a female friend or you're dating the person if you're in your early 20s please focus on more better things that will improve your life yeah that's it so another thing i'm going to be sharing is don't be afraid to cut people off friendships that you know they're just out there to suck you dry they are not beneficial all they do is like leech off you please don't be afraid to cut such friendships off because they are not doing you any good if you realize that you are with somebody and they are not you are not they are not improving your life positively they are not you know just making your life better please cut them off cut them off in your as early as possible sharp sharp block them because if you block them you'll be at peace yourself and you know your life will have more direction you'll be able to figure out your life in a more positive light so yeah another one is don't be a people pleaser try as much as possible not to always be a yes person if you're some in my early 20s i used to be like i always want people to like me so i always like say yes at the detriment of my own you know comfort and it actually like deprived me of so many things so basically since i learned to like say no when i don't want it anything that is not you know i don't want i say no if it's going out and i see that this thing is not going to profit me like if i spend this money is going to hurt me later on i say no so i used to find it out to say no but yes ever since i started saying no to things that you know that are detrimental to my own mental health physically mentally i i became much better in my mental uh, state i became much better physically you know i was just at peace so that's uh, those are the things i wish somebody had sat me down and told me when i was in my early 20s but i know it's not too late that's why i'm making it for my girlies in their early 20s so that you know they won't miss out on so much since they have a big sister like me <laughs> yeah that's me so yeah that will be all for this video i hope you guys picked 18 or 2 don't forget to like my video and subscribe and watch my other content as well i have lots of tons of vlogs and other 20 series content on my channel please go watch and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye